Hello everybody, this is Jeff I'm down in Toronto here today and I'm in front of the building. I don't know if how many of you people watched uh, Degrassi, uh, the original Degrassi, but uh, uh, this is the school uh, where they, well it's a daycare now, but it used to be a school and they used to film uh, many of the episodes here in front of it, and inside of it. And so we were just down here, they're having this big convention and uh, <clears throat> All the some of the actors are from the show are here, and um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about you know how you know television has changed over the years though, because when the show originally aired, it was um, it was kind of grittier you know in a way it was breaking ground like a lot of show uh, first shows do when they start off it has this realism about it, um, and uh, the thing about Degrassi as as time went on is the the, the stories got better and then all of a sudden they stopped making them and then I don't know how many years went by it was quite a few years um, and they came back and did it again uh, things had changed the feel of the show had changed where they where the characters seemed a little less realistic and a little more uh, artificial and as they started to make further shows versions of Degrassi uh, that problem uh, escalated I think in a way with the show and I think it just, you know, I don't know if that if if school life is the way it looks because you know I know a lot of schools around today that uh, they've been around for a long time and they don't look anything you know like you know glass and you know and uh, cl uh, clinical inside or anything like that. I mean they look more like this. I mean they're more they're more old and they're brick and you know they they look aged. And that's really the look of a lot of schools, especially the ones that I went to. And to this day, after I've graduated from my high school, it hasn't changed at all on the outside. It looks the same. Now, the inside might have some different features that didn't wasn't there before, but the rooms are pretty much the same. The, the desks they're still using from 50, 60 years ago are still there. Um, so a lot of schools today, they don't have, uh, you know, the money to really make a school that looks anything like what you see in, in the new Degrassi shows. So when they do the show now these days, uh, it doesn't really have the the feel of realism because a lot of us went to a school that probably didn't look anything like what they show on there now. And I think if they went back to their roots, I think uh, more people would kind of uh, tune back in, you know, and see real looking kids and uh, real looking schools, you know, and a, a little more feel of, you know, schools that are, you know, underfunded and stuff like that. And uh, I think that would that would probably hit home to more kids today that that are going to school, and they could still do the same story arcs, the same kind of uh, uh, episodes about issues you know that society is dealing with today, just like they did then, and it would still it would still resonate even even now it would still resonate with that. So I think that if they if they uh, if they went ahead and did it that way, I don't think it would be a, a bad thing, and that would probably bring Degrassi back into the to realism. Um, as it you know was back in the in the 80s and I think it's in the late 70s as well so um, I just you know like I said coming down here it was sort of a reminder to how things change but then some things don't and you know and, and this school this building it looks like a lot of schools that we went to and uh, and if you want to do a show like that about teenagers uh, dealing with day-to-day -day life growing up and stuff you know you want to keep it real you want to keep it uh, uh, as close to what kids are really experiencing and how you know home life and stuff like that and not create these kids into fantasies that adults are dealing with that kids you know I mean it just doesn't feel right you know it doesn't feel realistic and I think that's why the show doesn't resonate as much as, as the older ones do now and and you, you still got a lot of people my age that you know they still appreciate it they watch it you know for the nuance and reminisce and uh, uh, you know it, it's a, it was a part of a lot of their their the foundation of growing up and that's an important thing because you know kids minds are very young they're very impressionable and there weren't that many shows on TV at the time that really uh, were uh, cared enough to make sure that things were being taught and not just, you know, abusive about what they were seeing on TV like a lot of shows are today. So, um, yeah, so anyway, here's the building again. And uh, let me get a better view here of it. I'm sitting kind of close to it because 
Uh, yeah, so here's that, and this is the front. Now they turned this into a daycare, and a uh, bunch of squirrels around here too, off of that big tree. And they were running across the power lines, and uh, and I think that the neighborhood around the building they probably borrowed for a lot of scenes in the show and it does kind of a lot of the buildings still look like they're from the 80s or even the 70s you know by the looks of them they don't change much over the years um, but uh, yeah it's a it's a really it's a really nice uh, uh, thing to, to look at and reminisce over and see and appreciate um, and uh, they wouldn't let me do videos in the, in the con actual convention center while the while the actors were being questioned by the fans um i guess they wanted to they were they were recording it so i imagine they were doing that because they wanted to uh, uh sell the the uh the convention you know as like a dvd or something for people to buy um which is you know all about you know making money i guess or something i don't know i mean they just everything today is kind of like that now but <clears throat> I took some pictures. Um, my girlfriend came down here with me, and uh, she made a, a, a school jacket that looks like what they used on the show. And uh, it's really, it's a really nice building. You know, it looks, it's smaller than, than you know, I, I, it seems on TV. But I guess that's camera trickery. You know, it's how the way things are filmed. You know, and uh, it's, it's kind of, you know, I hope they don't ever get rid of the building because it kind of stands as a testament to an era that doesn't really exist anymore so um, anyway that's pretty much what I wanted to say about that and uh, I hope you understand what I was talking about and if you got any comments please leave them below uh, and keep it clean and keep